this little off-grid emergency power system perfect for whenever power goes out you can still charge your small devices using this little DC to DC converter today I'm going to make a quick little video of how I connected these alligator clips up very simple anyone can do this so stick around I'll show you how So what you need for this project is some scissors, a pair of pliers, um, alligator clips or electrical clip kit. Um, you can find these pretty easily on Amazon and eBay, stuff like that. And a little 12 volt to 5 volt DC converter. This little converter has the USB-A ports, two of them already attached which is handy. Um, this is a 3 amp max output and 7 volt to 22 volt input so this will suit most of your 12 volt panels. So very versatile if shit hits the fan or you need emergency power pretty easy to, to get yourself a 12 volt panel a lot of people have small little panels laying around so hook this up to your 12 volt panel in an emergency and you can keep your phones and torches and whatnot charged providing the sun shining so i think that's yeah pretty cool these are reasonably cheap to purchase first is i'm gonna strip a little bit more wire off this cable just so I've got a little bit more wider to hold on to the alligator clips. So any, anyone can make something like this up. You don't you know, need very minimal skills to put something like this together. If you buy the unit with the USB ports, Right, I might use the smaller alligator clips just so we've got, you know, I can squeeze these alligator clips inside connectors and stuff like that for certain solar panels. I think these smaller ones will be more suited. Simply slide the little cover off as you can see here. Um, there's two little metal tabs, so that's what you're going to put your wire in. Then you're going to basically pinch these tabs in to hold the, the wire. It's making sure that you slide on the covers first. As you can see, I don't know if you can get a good picture of that, but them little tabs have clamped down on the wire there. Reasonably good connection, but I'm going to solder this as well. That's another optional thing you can do, just to make this a little bit stronger. Right, nicely soldered in there. Beautiful. As easy as that. You just slide these covers back on. Easier to just push them open like that. Hold your thumb in the jaws. Then you can just slide the cover back over. Do the same with the negative. Right, let's connect this up to a solar panel and get this to work.
Right, we found ourselves a little bit of sun. I've got this cable already exposed and cut. I know that the brown is positive and the blue is negative. If you are unsure, then you can use a multimeter to check which side is the positive side and the negative side. So what I need to do now is just connect these up. So the red to the positive, blue to the negative, as easy as that. And we should have five volt power. As you can see, we're charging guys. So in an emergency, having one of these little devices can be priceless. Have yourself a small solar panel. This is a 20 watt solar panel. One of these, and at least you'll be able to keep your phones charged. You know, torches, phones, power packs charged. Although this won't provide a whole heap of power, it'll be enough to, to keep you out of trouble. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.